A United Nations meeting on North Korean human rights took place in Geneva on Thursday, but the North completely denied accusations of human rights violations and instead blamed the U.S. Pei Eunji has the details. For the first time in around five years, member states of the United Nations gathered in Geneva to address the issue of human rights in North Korea. The Universal Periodic Review, or UPR, is a mechanism that calls on each UN member state to go through a peer review of its human rights record every four and a half years. The North Korean representative at the meeting denied all accusations of human rights violations and blamed the United States for getting in the way of protecting its people's human rights, adding that human rights means national sovereignty to the North. The efforts of the DPRK to ensure its people full enjoyment of their rights are confronted with a series of challenges and obstacles, such as the political and military provocations and anti-DPRK human rights campaigns of the United States deeply rooted in its extremely hostile policy towards the DPRK. The U.S. Special Envoy on North Korean human rights issues at the meeting called on Pyongyang to dismantle political prison camps and release unjustly detained political prisoners. Thousands of people are believed to be detained in political prison camps, where they have been subjected to torture and harsh labor. But another North Korean official stressed that there are no such things as political prisoners or political prisoner camps in the North. He claimed that there are only criminals who committed anti-state offenses and that there are not many of them in number. Meanwhile, South Korea publicly brought up the issue of Korean detainees in North Korea, the first time for Seoul to do so at a Universal Periodic Review meeting. Immediately resolved the issues of abducted detainees and unrepatriated prisoners of war as well as the issues of separated families and particularly promptly released six Korean nationals who are held against their will by the DPRK. There are currently six South Koreans detained in North Korea, including three missionaries, Kim Jong-uk, Kim Guk-gi and Che chung They have been held captive for as long as 11 years, while their whereabouts and fates are unknown. Peunzi, Arirang News.